Good afternoon. Welcome to our mass celebration today. Today is the memorial of St. Boniface, Bishop and Martyr. Please stand and we'll sing together in the blue hymnal number 839. In the blue hymnal 839, as we gather at your table. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Good afternoon. Amen. Well, a little bit about St. Boniface, what it says here in the Magnificat, it says that St. Boniface, high-born and well-educated young Boniface, set out from his native England on a mission to the pagan tribes in Friesland, now the Netherlands, in 716. The first mission failed, but Boniface received a commission from Pope Gregory II to bring the gospel to the North German peoples. With unflagging perseverance, he founded monasteries, established centers of learning, and fought heresies and abuses. He convened the first German synod and was named the primate of Germany. At the end of his life, he was permitted to return to Friesland. He was murdered there in 754 by tribal warriors as he prepared to confirm a group of converts. Every time we celebrate a saint, we see the work of the Holy Spirit, you know, perseverance, perseverance because what they believe, and what they believe was stronger than even fear to death. So we, are, we honor today St. Boniface, a good example, and also that he may pray for us, that we may persevere as well in our Christian life. As we begin to celebrate this Mass, let us ask God for forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be an advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed with his blood, and confidently profess it by your deeds. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Tobit. I, Tobit, have walked all the days of my life on the paths of truth and righteousness. I performed many charitable works for my kinsmen and my people who had been deported with me to Nineveh in Assyria. On our festival of Pentecost, the Feast of Weeks, a fine dinner was prepared for me and I reclined to eat. The table was set for me, and when many different dishes were placed before me, I said to my son Tobiah, my son, go out and try to find a poor man from among our kinsmen exiled here in Nineveh. If he is a sincere worshiper of God, bring him back with you so that he can share this meal with me. Indeed, son, I shall wait for you to come back. Tobiah went out to look for some, po some poor kinsman of ours. When he returned, he exclaimed, Father! I said to him, What is it, son? He answered, Father, one of our people has been murdered. His body lies in the marketplace where he was just strangled. I sprang to my feet, leaving the dinner untouched. And I carried the dead man from the street and put him in one of my rooms, one of the rooms, so that I might bury him after sunset. Returning to my own quarters, I washed myself and ate my food in sorrow. All your festivals shall be, I was reminded by the prophet Amos against Bethel, all your festivals shall be turned into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I wept. Then at sunset, I went out, dug a grave, and buried him. The neighbors mocked me, saying to one another, He is still not afraid. Once before, he was hunted down for execution because of this very thing. Yet now that he has scarcely escaped, here he is again burying the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed, blessed the, the man, man who fears, fears the, Lord. the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed, blessed the, the man, man who, who fears, fears the, the Lord. Lord. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man, the man who, who fears, fears the, the Lord. Lord. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just man shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a one press, and built a tower. Then he listed to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the, over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too, so too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son, he sent him to them last of all, thinking they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let the inheritance be ours. So they seized him and killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and there is wonderful in our eyes. They were, they were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed this parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Today we begin reading the book of Tobit. Uh, the book of Tobit is a story that was written to encourage the people who, who were in, uh, uh, in exile. They were in exile and, uh, and of course, being away from their own country, they need something special to hold on in order to continue their faith. So this, um, this story of Tobit is a, a wonderful and, and begins in the first chapter that, that, that is, uh, we begin just the first um, verse, the, the third verse of the first chapter and then we jump into the second chapter tells us about Tobit. Who is, this, who is this guy? You know, he had a son, you know, but he was, above all, a, a God-fearing person. He liked, liked to do God's will, obey the law. Even though it, it might be very dangerous, he used to do it this. And, and the story today is that they were uh, uh, celebrating Pentecost, which is the uh, the feast of the week, so also the feast in which uh, they bring the, the harvest, uh, the end of the harvest, and, uh, and then offer the first uh, offerings to God, Pentecost. And it was a wonderful feast. It is said that uh, in time of Jesus, uh, about 300,000 people or more uh, go to Jerusalem, went to Jerusalem during this feast to go to the temple. Well, it was a, a great feast. So Tobit Ask. Um, also, Tobit was a, uh, a rich person. He was a rich man. He had servant. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody prepared everything for him. So he was just ready. But he, he was a, a pious man. You know, he said he was about to eat a wonderful meal, and he said, "You know, bring somebody, a poor person. I, I, I would like to share my meal with, with a poor person." So he sent his son Tobias, and uh, uh, and Tobias, I mean, as he went out. He saw this uh, kinsman killed. They were killed, and they would kill them. They were put on the street as a kind of a, a lesson. You know, probably, we don't know who was this person. I mean, why he was killed, but most likely he was killed because, uh, I mean, kind of uh, 
giving a lesson to the rest of the people. And they used to leave the, the, the people there on wonderful thing, especially because it, uh, to, to Tobit have done this. And be, by doing this before, he was uh, threatened to be killed. If you do this again, you, you will be put to death. And, and, but he did it anyway. You know, he brought up that person, put him to his house, and wait until the evening, and then he buried that person. That gives us a, a, a good idea. Uh, or, or the, or through this book, they present the example of how a person, a Jew in exile, is to behave. You know, obeying God's law, even though it might be dangerous sometimes, obeying God's law is for, for and most important in front of our other people. And, uh, well, if, if we go to the gospel, we see a, a contrast. You know, Jesus, and you know, Jesus, he, uh, as, as you remember, Jesus just went to the temple and purified the temple. He cleaned, he I mean, turned away the, the tables, and, well, he, he purified the temple. And, and the authorities were asking Jesus, with what authority are you doing this? And then, and then it said at the end, and they tried to kill Jesus. Well, then today's gospel is a continuation of that gospel. And now they come to Jesus. And, and, and they see Jesus not in, 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 uh, with, with being open to what Jesus was teaching them. I mean, of course, it was very hard for them to, as uh, Jesus was telling this, uh, this parable about the vineyard, you know. And, uh, and so uh, they, they say, Jesus is telling us for us. He's accusing him before everybody. He's accusing us. Of, uh, of being still in the, the vineyard of God. And they took it personally, and they decided to kill Jesus. They decided to kill that person. You know, we see in these two readings the capacity that we may have. You know, we, we can bring this uh, teaching for us. We have the capacity to be a very good person, God-fearing person, and do a lot of good things, even though it may be dangerous sometimes. We can, do, we, we can have this capacity. But also we have this capacity to do wrong things. You know, those who want to kill Jesus were religious lead, uh, leaders. They were not kind of uh, robbers well, or bad people. They were, they were God's people who wanted to, call, to kill Jesus. You know, something, I mean, very bad things can come from us as well if we don't pay attention. And of course, and of course, uh, uh, we are invited to, be, to watch in ourselves what kind of things or thoughts do we have. What are our actions? You know, who, uh, uh, who I've been treating not well lately, and so forth. You know, for us is to make a kind of examination of conscience. And, and, and watch ourselves. Watch our, our, our own ways of thinking or, or acting. Because um, at the end, what we want is to do God's will, right? We want to go to heaven. You know, we want to be remembered by, you know, this uh, really was something that uh, gave a good example of living the Christian life. And, uh, well, let us pray to the Holy Spirit to make us aware of our attitudes, to watch over our thoughts, and, of course, to always choose what is right to choose or to have the same attitudes that that or Tobit had so that we may be a, a good example to all the people to follow. Amen. Let us bring our needs to our loving Father. For Pope Francis, may God bless him with good health and vitality as he shepherds his flock. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For policymakers, may the Holy Spirit inspire in them a greater respect for all human life, from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who labor in the fields. May God bless and sanctify their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this community of faith, may God bless us and help us place our trust in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the faithful departed, may they rest in peace of Christ in heaven with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. As Father's Day approaches, we pray throughout the month of June for all fathers, especially those in our Father's Day novena. May God give them wisdom to be a model of faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for those in formation for priesthood and religious life of the Archdiocese of San Antonio and the missionaries of the Holy Spirit, especially Umberto Ruiz and Diego Rivera, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the special intentions of this Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Joe P. Saldivar, Sr., Joshua J.C. Rodriguez, and Evelyn Schmidt. May we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us continue to pray for all those who died because of the train accident that happened in India a couple of days ago. And may the Lord give to them eternal repose. And for all those who lost their loved ones, may the Lord console them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, look with kindness upon the prayers we bring before you in the name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our hymn for the preparation of the altar in the blue hymnal, number 7784. 784, we have been told. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with, us, with that flame of your love through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and need of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gustavo our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Luke, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion prayer song is number 916. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O oh Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed mother Boniface faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Yes. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirit that prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our final hymn of praise is 861, 861. Praise and thanksgiving. We'll sing verse 1 and then 4.